One of the most costly and time-consuming things in architecture is finding furniture specific to the client's desires and also light fixtures. Um, so today I'm going to take you through just a short video of the best way that I find furniture and ways that I can get uh, a 3D model directly from the website into Twin Motion or Unreal Engine so I can render it out. So let's go. Okay, so here we are on Crate and Barrel's website. I get a lot of requests for furniture from clients through this site and other sites like it. And the important thing to make all of this work is make sure the site you're using has the 360 viewer. And a lot of them have it. It's becoming more and more common. Um, so that is crucial. And my first step for this was to take a bunch of pictures, screenshots of this, and load it into a software to make the 3D um, scan. And so I'm gonna show you that method first, and then I'll show you a better method. So uh, we can save all of these images and import them into an AI generator that basically uses photogrammetry. So I have Rodin right here, and I've done this before, but you could just input the image, try it out yourself, and see how um, what turns out from it. Now I won't take you through the process of using AI. Um, I can do that in a separate video, but let's go to the output that I had from Rodin. And this is using a single image and it's, it's really good. It's not great, but um, it will definitely work in your software. Now, obviously with any 3D model of this sort, you can't change the materials once it's in there. You can change roughness and normal maps and stuff like that, but if you want to change colors, it's all baked textures like what you're used to. Um, but anyways, this is a great method. So I would suggest looking at Rodin, but what I found the best way by far, finding this 360 view, and we need to extract this GLB file out. The way we do that is Control Shift I, and we're going to inspect. Now it might take me a little bit to find it. Click this little uh, inspect, and you can kind of find exactly where things are. We're looking for model viewer. It's usually up here. Yes, so right here. So there is a hyperlink of this GLB file. So you can double click that and copy that and we'll just go into here paste that and it will automatically download it into your um, folder and this is so much better from what we had just seen and this is the raw file that crate and barrel had in their folder head over to twin motion and see how it looks okay so here we are in twin motion um, so we're just gonna import both of these just to see what they look like. So we'll do the crate and barrel one first. And by the way, GLB is native to twin motion. So you do not have to export or sorry, convert to an FBX if you don't want to. So we will import that one. Go find it. There she is. We'll do the other one just for fun just to see the difference our AI chair. So as you can see, yes, scaling is just not going to be right because it's not the actual raw model, but we can fix that. Just trying to make these as close as possible, but yeah, it's obvious which one's better. Um, from a distance, this one might be usable. Um, but if you're doing ArcViz, you got to have something better. So we're going to delete that. This one is awesome. Um, like I said, you can't actually change the materials because they're all baked in. So if I push T and look at the material, it is all one um, piece. So if I were to change things, it's going to change everything. Um, but that's okay, you know. The, you're buying it because it's the correct color. So I would probably just darken this a little bit and maybe add a little bit more roughness so we can have some 
nice reflections off the wicker part but yeah that is pretty much the end of this video hopefully you guys learned something make sure you follow i'll continue to do videos like this have a good one